What's up people? So today we're gonna to be working on the tiny house. I'm gonna be working on the piers. I just finished cutting up some of this rebar, which I'll show you right now. I cut them into uh, five foot sections. I put a little point on the end so it'd be easier to hammer down to the ground. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put three in each of these holes and then I have some uh, river rock that I bought from Lowe's. I'm gonna put a half a bag of river rock in each of these holes that I have and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the tubes on them. Uh, we're not gonna fill them in with cement just yet. Uh, I'm still waiting for Jason to go to the off-grid property to get the cement mixer. Once he goes and gets that, maybe my next trip up here, I'll be able to fill all these in with cement. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make sure all these holes are wide enough first off with this one form tube if it is i'm gonna go ahead and put the rebar in and then the rock all right guys only two of the holes needed to be cleaned out a little bit more the form two fit in all of them they stick up about two feet so now i'm gonna put three pieces of rebar in each one so i'm gonna go ahead and lay them out and then we'll start hammering them in the ground All right guys, so this stick right here is my uh, guiding stick. It goes up two feet right where this orange line is. This is where the top of the piers are gonna go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive these uh, rebar in, just to give you an idea. It sticks up probably about 10 inches or so above this. So I gotta drive it in about a foot or so on each one. I'm gonna put three in each hole, do it in like a triangle pattern. Once I have all the rebar in, then I'm gonna go back with the rock and put a half a bag in each hole. So I guess I need to stop talking and Get to work. Just wanna make sure that I'm doing this correctly. That right there should work. Now I'm gonna use this one as a guiding tool for these other two. It's my first time doing this, so uh, take it easy in the comments. Using the smallest little sledgehammer I can find. All right guys, so I got this first one done. I'm gonna bring the tube over here, stick it on top, and just see how much room I have left over. So it goes up to about right here on each of them. So uh, that gives me about four inches or so to work with, which is uh, perfectly fine. I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of them in. It's gonna be a long day. Yeah, I think I really lucked out. This soil right here is pretty soft. So this rebar is going in fairly easy. I'm able to push it down somewhat and then hammer it the rest of the way. It's 
It's probably because all the uh, snow and stuff we had recently, which I'm not complaining. So you can see right here, here's where the top of the form tube's gonna go. So there's about a four inch gap from the rebar to the top. All right, now I'm going back and putting in this river rock, half a bag in each hole. All right, guys, so I have all the rebar in, half a bag of rock in each one. Yeah, buddy. All right, guys, so it's the next day. We had a cold front come through, so it's right now it's about 30 degrees. We are gonna be working on the pit out here, getting stuff ready for the animals. We're gonna finish putting barbed wire on top of the fence. We're gonna be adding in the gate here. What else are we gonna get done? Uh, I don't know, hopefully a lot. Uh, yeah. Just tie up a bunch of loose ends. Yeah, and then I think tomorrow we're going to head out to the off-grid location and pick up the uh, sawmill, uh, water tote, uh, water trough, and then a bunch of feed stuff for the animals. and bunch of different stuff. Yeah, so uh, that, and then uh, tomorrow evening we'll be heading over to a friend's house for the Super Bowl, so we figured why not in the morning uh, just go out to the off-grid and get all that other stuff. But for today, we're going to try to finish up all the stuff over here for the animals and be one step closer to getting all the animals up here and having me live on the property 100% of the time. All right, so I cut these posts at an angle. That way if water hits, it'll come off. Now we're just going to make sure this fits good, which it will. And uh, I bought some long lag bolts that will uh, drill a hole, put them through and I'll hold it. And if it's loose at all, Ooh, we'll get some fell. bigger, fatter ones. But for now, I think this will be okay. Bigger, fatter ones. Um, just make sure this is, I can't do the top.
Teach on your pocket. Get that black piece? Oh yeah. All you do is just Uh, we just went in and cut this off and then uh, it's a little rough on the outside but it's fine it's treated but we'll come in with this special uh, sealer right here it's the blue can and uh, just let that soak in because the ends of this is like straw so when it rains it's just gonna soak into that so we're gonna do this all the way around and uh, that'll help make that post last a lot longer so you can see we did wrap the barbed bar wire all around it tell them we gotta put the clamps on we had it in the gate over there. We had to use the winch on the uh, four-wheeler to pull all the barbed wire 
but we got the gate on. The last thing we gotta do is put the little clamps on to hold the fence to the TPO, same thing with the barbed wire, and then the fence will be done uh, for now. And then like I mentioned, we're gonna go out to the off-grid property. Uh, Jason has, a, I believe, a 12-foot gate out there, just a tube gate like the one we put here. Uh, we're gonna cut a section out over there on the side so we can bring the tractor in if we need to. We're gonna dig out a little pond and then uh, try to take care of these little uh, water tanks back there that are filled in with dirt. See if we can try to knock them down to just where the uh, metal is and possibly try to reuse them somehow. But you see Jason's back there in the back corner, finishing up the post. Get that tractor warmed up. All right, guys, now that we're finished over there with the fence, we're gonna work on this little section here, clear out all these trees, there's some trash and stuff, we're gonna clear that out as well. And then back there where the fence is on the other side, we're gonna clear out probably a, I don't know, maybe a 12 foot section or so, all the way up to the property line, just to give a little bit more room back behind the fence. But for now, Jason's gonna go in and cut down all these uh, bigger trees and then we're going to get all this trash and uh, limbs and stuff out of here. guys take it easy on me i know there's a lot of critics out there i'm a very very beginner at driving a tractor uh jason just cleaned up over here he chopped down a bunch of the trees he's gonna come in and push all this stuff out uh there's uh, some metal and stuff that was part of that cutout that they did when they were redoing that room so he's gonna come in here and clean all this stuff out you guys saw that i was back over there cleaning out behind the fence over there and just a little section back over here so i give jason the reins again my back is killing me I shouldn't have even been on it today anyways, but I wanted to just get a little taste of it. Uh, people, just know it's all of our tractors. I'll get plenty of time on it. I know there's people saying they don't want to see Jason riding it all the time, but we just got it. So there's plenty of pasture over there on the other side that I'll get to mow later on. But for now, he's going to clear this out. I'll put you guys down and uh, maybe just watch it on time lapse. So I'm going to put you guys down and enjoy it.
All right, people, we are done for today. Uh, what do you guys think? I think it's a game changer. Looks totally yeah. different out here. Uh, still needs some work, you know, uh, pull out some of these stumps and stuff, but the main thing is get rid of the trash, get rid of that mound of dirt, uh, get rid of all these little trees. We have no idea if these trees are gonna even look cool or not, so we're gonna keep them for now. Yeah, we kept four of them just to give a little bit of shade. And uh, they're kind of like in a, in a straight line. Yeah but there was a bunch of trash and dirt and stuff uh, we're gonna pretty much pay somebody to come out here and pick up all the metal and stuff and yeah uh, we put it in a nice pile got everything uh pushed back cleared out for for now it i mean it's still got a lot of work left but it's way better than it was yeah but anyways uh, i guess we're gonna go ahead and call it a day yeah we're pretty hungry pretty starving we got uh some plans by the time you guys watch this video we're gonna be at somebody's house watching the super bowl so you'll have to yeah. stay tuned and see if maybe we do a video on that or not but I don't know. You got anything else you want to tell them? I'm freaking tired. That tractor's a beast. Um, I mean, it's small, but it's strong. It it does everything we need it to. And once again, my back has been hurting. That's why I haven't been on the tractor too much. Uh, plus, I'm not that good at it. But <laughs> it just takes time. Uh, yeah. So I I did clear out a little bit back behind the fence and stuff, as y'all saw. And then uh, Jason jumped on here, and I was in here just cleaning up stuff too by hand. So. Anyways, I guess we're going to call this a video. Uh, I think next time I come up here, we're probably going to do some cement work. We're going to head out to the off-grid location tomorrow yeah. and uh, get everything done out there. So We were just trying real hard to get a lot of this side done for the animals. So uh, it's clean enough now. And um, once we eventually can clean through there, it'll be cool because you can back a trailer in, have stuff here. Well, we're thinking about having there. water totes back here too for the animals. Yeah. So you have to stay tuned for all that. But... Uh, we're going to go ahead and end the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Peace.